Hello everyone, today we will learn how to set up an Android emulator without installing entire Android Studio IDE. Before we begin, ensure that Java is installed on your system. If it is already installed, you can skip this timeline. Open your browser and visit the download section of openlogic.com. We will be installing OpenJDK 17. Select the Java version, operating system and architecture. In our case, the operating system is Windows, the architecture is x86 and it is 64-bit. Choose the JDK option from the Java package drop-down list. You will see two download options here. The first is .msi and the second is .zip. Click on the .zip button to download the file. Once the download is complete, extract the file into the C colon slash Java directory. If the Java directory does not exist, it will be created automatically. I recommend extracting it into C colon slash Java directory for simplicity. You can choose any location you want. Open the directory to verify the extracted files. Copy the directory path for the next step. Now we need to tell the system where Java is located by configuring environment variables. In Windows, search for environment variables in the search bar and open the settings. Create new environment variable. Name it java underscore home and paste copied path there. Now edit path environment variable and add new value which is percent java underscore home percent slash bin. Save the changes. Let's open the terminal window and type java space hyphen version. If you see version of the java in the output means it is installed. Now let's install android command line tools from the developer dot android dot com. Go to the download section, a scroll down until you see command line tools only section. Accept the license agreement and download the zip file for the Windows operating system. Once it is downloaded, extract it into C colon slash Android slash CMD line tools directory. Again, it will create a directory for you if it is not exists. After extraction, go to the CMD line tools directory. You will see another CMD line tools directory inside it. Rename it to the latest. Let's set the environment variables for the Android command line tools. Copy the path and go to the environment variables and create new variable. Name it Android underscore SDK underscore root. Edit path variable and add percent Android underscore SDK underscore root percent slash cmd line tool slash latest slash bin save it and open the new terminal window please make sure you run it as an administrator type this command to download android platform tools platform and system image required to run the android emulator you may wonder what is the 35 number in this command it is basically an android api level each api level is associated to the android version you can check these details from the apilevels.com. As you can see, 35 API level is Android 15 on the system. If you want to install any other version, you change it in the command. Hit enter and you will see prompt to accept the license agreement. Type Y to process. This may take time depending on your internet speed. Once it is downloaded, type this command to accept all the licenses. Go ahead and accept all the licenses. Now type this command to create an Android virtual device. My emulator name is the name of the Android virtual device. Then specify the system image which is downloaded earlier using SDK manager tool. And the last is device that is pixel. For more information, please visit to AVD manager section on developer.android.com site. I will share all the links in the description below. Now let's start the created virtual device by emulator command. This is the command you will use more frequently to 
start the emulator oops looks like emulator command not found let's check for it in the command line tools directory hmm as you can see it is missing here let me tell you one thing emulator is a tool which is not a part of the android sdk tools anymore so we will need to install it separately let's go to the sdk tools section and scroll down until you see android emulator click on the android emulator release notes link go to the emulator download archive page download the latest version zip file by simply clicking on the link after download extract it into c colon slash android directory go to the extracted location and check for the emulator program add its location into path environment variable to run the emulator type this command this will launch the android emulator window allow access and wait until it boots up once again set path environment variable for the adb and run the adb space devices command and as you can see our emulator is in the list it's all set you can now test flutter or react native apps on the emulator without installing the android studio ide thanks for watching if you like my video please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel